your light. <laughs> That's the worst fucking thing. <laughs> I can't believe my tip has been. <laughs> Stone Mason, called Tom, right? And he gets his job in London for three weeks working on St Paul's. So he phones his mate James at that chap, who lives in London, and asks him if he can stay at his place, you know, while the work's being done. No problem, see James. So, Tom the Stone Mason, James the Fetcher, what century? This century. Now. Anyway, so, all's going well for a week, then James comes home one night, he says to Tom that he's got a job working away for a few days, and he asks Tom if he'll look after the flat and his dog, Pivo. Pivo? Yeah, he's Polish for beer, I think. You fucking pig. Seven sixes. Oh, anyway, all's going well. One night, Pivo looks a bit peaky. Pestilence, you're such a bitch. It's the next morning, right? Tom wakes up. The dog's fucking dead. So after this initial period of like, you know, swearing and oh fuck and oh my god, what I'm gonna fucking do. Tom rings the vet. Tells the vet the story, like, you know, I've got a fucking dead dog. And the vet tells him, uh, listen mate, you're gonna have to take it to the surgery in Brighton, dispose of the body. And Tom's like, I can't do that. It's going to cost me a one and a in a taxi, one a back. I'm skinned. And the vet says, uh, no go, mate. Sorry, that's the law. You know, you've got a dead dog. That's the law. You're off to Brighton, son. So Tom's running around the flat like an headless fucking chicken, you know. Uh, opens a suitcase, opens the door, finds his suitcase. You know, one of the ones with wheels on them, handle. And he's like, bing. He has no idea. Yeah. 
shoot the fucker gone. Fucking little bastard's razor. Do it! <laughs> 